Okay, today I'm going to be putting solid air in my vacuum chamber. And I'm not actually sure what it will do in the vacuum chamber, it might do nothing. But either way, afterwards I'm going to crush it in my hydraulic press because I want to see how much of it was actually solid material and how much was gas. So solid air is a nickname for aerogel. Aerogels are the least dense solid on earth. So this is actually a pretty sturdy solid. It feels kind of like uh, styrofoam, but it's much less dense than styrofoam. So how it's made is they make these polymers that originally have liquid in them, but then the liquid is replaced by a gas. And so what's left is this solid backbone that's actually pretty strong, but it's made of mostly gas. Okay, so I'll show you how it's just a solid and set a weight on top of it. Looks like it's just floating there. So another cool thing that aerogel is used for, so it's used in spacecraft as insulation. So it actually has better insulation properties than the air that it's made out of. So here's a picture of a flower over a Bunsen burner and you can see the aerogel just completely protects it because it's such a good insulator. Okay, I've got it zoomed in on my aerogel here. So I'm not quite sure what will happen here. I know there's a gas inside of it. I don't know if it'll just shatter or what it will do here. It might do nothing. Let's check it out. Aerogel in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. So at full vacuum and not much is happening here. Okay, let's let the air back in. Probably gonna blow it all over. All right, let's see how much actual material, besides the gas, is left over after we crush this. Okay, aerogel crushed in a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Okay, that was weird. So here's the pieces of aerogel. That broke kind of like glass. I read that the actual solid structure is glass-like. So it broke like really ultra low density glass. Really weird to crush it, it just kind of disintegrates in your hand. So if I collect a bunch of the powder, it's just kind of this white powder afterwards. So that entire solid piece there was just almost an undetectable amount of powder. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit subscribe for the latest action in the future. And comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see get crushed next time. I use a lot of your ideas. And if you want to see me put anything in my vacuum chamber, add that to the comment section. And I'll see you next time.